so far, day two, or two days of work. This is a mess. Unfortunately, I wish I was progressing faster. I went ahead, ripped out everything towards the front so I could do the insulation, finished up the panels, did more great stuff along all the columns towards the side. And currently what I'm doing is, so right here, this window is a fixed window. Unfortunately, it does not open, but I managed to score at the junkyard a set of windows. So the hardest part would be I had to remove all the seal to get the window off on the inside first, and then I was able to place this. Just simply screwed it in once it was in place. And thankful enough, now I'm going to have a little more ventilation when I need it. I still right. need to do the other window, so, but I thought... It... Um, for the wheel well, I did the exact same thing. I took a piece of cardboard and I cut every... I kept cutting and cutting and shaving until it fit just perfectly. Right here... The reason I cut this beam right here was because it sticks out about five inches. So this is where the bed's going to be, and I don't want it to be in the way. So I brought this up. I put this in for reinforcement. Right now it's being held with screws, but I am planning on tack welding along these edges in order to um, make sure it's nice and sturdy and reinforces for the piece that I cut. Um, this cardboard is going to be the template, basically, for me to go ahead and cut my styrofoam put it right in place it will also be my template afterwards for when I put in the wood panel or the paneling that I'm going to put in here um, that way it fits perfectly around the wheel well anyways just thought I'd... all right so I'm on day four I have already insulated this side and I already have the foam board on the other side as well behind the camera on the passenger side I have not finished the passenger side like here but what happened is I already put up the board, I already put up the wood that was holding it all in place, taking form of the wall, and it was kind of hard to do. I didn't want to take it all back off, but I kind of had to because right up on the top corner, right here, that piece of metal actually sticks out a little, and um, it was pulling the panel board out, and that was forcing the actual trim that I was putting up there as wood, it was forcing it out in a way that I didn't like it. So I had to pull everything off so I could trim that corner again. I'm gonna put it all back up again. Before I put it all back up again, now that I did take it down, I'm gonna to try to do this right. I know this is not the greatest insulator, but the reason that I'm actually using it is I'm going to put it so it's an additional membrane keeping any fumes, gases separate from outside and inside. I, I don't want anything coming in while I'm sleeping. I, I do plan to have the alarms, but it's better if I could just keep it out in the first place. Also, since nothing can pass in air-wise, it also works uh, to maintain temperatures because there's nothing coming in, bringing in the heat or the cold from the outside or escaping in the other direction. Anyways, I'm going to just glue the, I'm just gonna glue this to the panel as it is right now and then afterwards I could put up the wood panel again and put up all the wood and hopefully finish at least the whole driver's side in the back compartment of this vehicle and move on to other things. I still need to finish the other panel that's on the passenger side as well as get to work on the roof. I am holding off on the ceiling because that's going to involve wiring because I'm going to put in the exhaust fan. I'm also going to put in the lights and that includes wiring. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that last up on top. Let me see if I can move it with this. So up on top right here, I plan to put a spacer on both sides when I put the wood so I can leave a gap for running my wire in between that I could also easily unscrew along the top end if I ever wanna run something new wire-wise up along the top. Like, I plan to put in some speakers, for example, because they're not in the back. And um, I'm going to put in a camera system in the future, probably a DVR, so I could see all sides of the van at night when everything's covered up and, and I can't see with my eyes. At least I'll be able to see with the camera what's going on as well as record it. Anyways, I'm going to try to...
right, guys, so here we are. I think I'm on my fifth day that I've been kind of working on this thing. I already got this wall taken care of. The main wall, I've got the other wall also basically up. I still need to work on the trim that I'm going to do around all the edges, but it's come to the point where I now have to do the roof. So the roof has a few things in it that i got to worry about. Is um, I'm going to throw in six recess lights, little puck ones that they I bought on Amazon. I'm going to throw in a um, ventilation fan, so that requires me to make a 14 by 14 hole in my roof. I already removed the rack that I had on top, and I washed the, the roof, so when I do this work and I try to seal it, at least I want to make sure everything's kind of clean. I'll probably buy a little bit of paint for little pieces that have come off on top, so they don't start to rust. I already put in three holes. I already made out the marks, and um, yeah. Point of no return. So let me just get in the last hole. Now I'm going inside of the lines because outside on top I'm going to. Sorry, I shouldn't be talking when I'm using power tools. So I made the holes just slightly inside of my lines. So I'll be up on the roof. And when I go, I could put new marks and I will put the marks with a straight edge on the outside of those holes so I know exactly where to cut. Um, I don't plan to cut from down here up because then I got all the metal falling on me and I've got, um, getting my eyes and stuff. Anyways. Alright guys, so this is the point I'm at right now. Today's kind of my last day to work on the band. Got to go back to work in order to inject more funds into the rest of the stuff I'm going to put in here. I've managed to do the walls, most of the ceiling. I'm going to cover that back up later with the original felt. Right now I am down to the floors. I'm going with a one inch piece of rigid foam. And after that I'm going to go with uh, 1132 plywood I didn't want to go with the plywood but um because of the extra weight and height but in the end I'm gonna do it only because once I put the laminate floor I um will have to possibly screw down some stuff like when I put shelves and stuff so I want something to be able to bite onto because I don't trust just the laminate floor but so far this is where I'm at and I'm hoping I'll get the floors done later um, that gray paint that you see is actually what I... Hey campers, how's it going? Let me see. That is dark. Anyways, here I am in the van. Still a mess in the front. Nowhere near done. But a lot closer than it used to be. I've got all the trim going across the top. I put in my speakers. Around the wires. Wires run across the whole top corner of this whole thing. Back here and then back up to the front. I still need to finish that piece. Yes, I know. I'm very happy with this. This material right here, basically this panel, it's going to be very easy to clean. It's lightweight. It didn't take up a lot of space. Um, I am going to paint all this, the, the actual wood. And I, sorry for those of you that love the wood look. I, I just, I think it's too much wood. So I'm happy the sound system's in. I actually got the camera in up on top. Already ran the wire around. Managed to put in, sorry, I'm over here walking around on my knees. So I put in a, damn, that doesn't come out. I put in a stereo up in front, so hooked it up to reverse light. So whenever I kick it into reverse, it automatically shows what's going on behind me. The floor is done. I am very happy with it. Yes, I need to run some trim around the side still. I am very happy with my wheel well covers because it takes up. wheel well covers because it takes up a lot less space as opposed to those that box it in I, I wanted to save as much space for later as I can and I'll probably use these little areas right here that come down like I could easily put an inverter in this area and then build over something and on the back I could you know all these little I'm gonna put in stuff like the water pump and everything else 
other than that, just want to show you guys where I'm at. This is where I'm going to stop for a little while. Like I said, I need to go back to work. This costs money, and I need to earn funds for it. So until then, I just wanted to update you guys, give you a little video of it. You guys take care. Bye.